There are conflicting studies on the risks of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, or NSAIDs, of which ibuprofen and naproxen are the most common, in patients with coronary disease. But on balance, NSAIDs are contraindicated in patients with established cardiovascular disease. Simply said, they seem to increase the number of recurrent ischemic events and death. Despite this, many physicians have felt that the risk is small, and many patients with chronic debilitating pain may well feel that this small risk is worth it to relieve their symptoms. Therefore, many patients receive NSAID treatment for a short period of time. But the question is, is there an association between NSAID treatment duration and risk of cardiovascular disease? Now in circulation, researchers report a study on the duration of NSAID treatment and cardiovascular risk in a nationwide cohort of patients with prior MI. Of great interest is the fact that almost half the patients received NSAIDs during follow-up. When the outcomes were analyzed, NSAID treatment was significantly associated with an increased risk of death or recurrent MI at the beginning of the treatment, and the risk persisted throughout the treatment course. Analyses of individual NSAIDs showed that the traditional NSAID, diclofenac, was associated with the highest risk. The conclusion is that even short-term treatment with most NSAIDs was associated with increased risk of death and recurrent MI in patients with prior MI. This is not good news for arthritis sufferers who have had an MI, but the fact is that neither short nor long-term treatment with NSAIDs is advised in this population. I'm Peter Block with a Cardiosource Heart Minute.